we wish to determine the support reactions for a statically determinate beam with two internal hinges. To begin, we divide the beam at the internal hinges, creating three distinct beam segments. At each hinge, an axial force and a shear force are present. It's important to note that the bending moment at each hinge is zero. To clearly depict these internal forces, we show the axial force and the shear force on the left and right sides of each hinge. The two axial forces should be shown in opposite directions. If one is pointing to the left, the other should point to the right. Likewise, if one shear force is directed downward, its counterpart should be drawn pointing upward. Repeat this process to show internal forces at the other hinge. Note that the shown axial forces at each hinge must have the same magnitude. Similarly, the shear forces at each hinge should be of equal magnitude. Let's label the magnitude of each force. For the left hinge, we designate the magnitude of the axial force as Bx and the shear force as Vb. For the right hinge, the axial force is labeled dx and the shear force magnitude is Vd. Here is a partial free body diagram of the beam. To complete this diagram, we need to include the reaction forces at the supports. There are two reaction forces at the pin support and one at each roller support. We can simplify the load diagram by replacing the distributed load in each beam segment with its equivalent concentrated load. This is the complete free body diagram for the beam. We can now write the equilibrium equations. For each segment of the beam, we need to write three equilibrium equations. These equations are the sum of the forces in the x direction, the sum of the forces in the y direction, and the sum of the bending moments about the z axis must be zero. For the left segment of the beam, the equilibrium equations are for the middle segment of the beam, the equilibrium equations can be written as. And for the right segment, we can write. These nine equilibrium equations embody nine unknown variables. There are five unknown support reactions and four unknown axial and shear forces located at the two internal hinges. This equation states that dx equals zero. If we substitute 0 for dx in this equation, we get b sub x equals 0. And this equation tells us that a sub x is also 0. Since this equation contains one variable only, we can use it to determine vb. And if we substitute negative 6 for vb in this equation, we can solve for a sub y. Knowing vb, this equation simplifies to. Since these two equations are expressed in terms of C sub y and Vd, we can simplify them and then solve them simultaneously for the two unknowns. Now we substitute 6 for Vd in this equation. These remaining two equations simplify to. Solving them for the remaining two unknown forces we get. Let's show the calculated forces on the free body diagram. Note the shear force with the negative magnitude. We can reverse the direction of the force, then remove the negative sign like this. So, here are the support reactions for the beam.